Jetpacks used to be something we only saw in science fiction movies, but now they're real and working. Thanks to modern design and engineering, these personal flying machines have come a long way. From early experiments like the Bell rocket belt to today's advanced models, inventors, especially from Britain, have made it possible for people to fly with the help of powerful engines. Jetpacks are no longer just a dream. They're now real machines doing amazing things, especially in the military and rescue missions. In this article, we'll look at 15 jetpacks that are changing how we think about human flight. One of the most exciting of them all is a machine powered by six turbojets that helps a person lift off the ground like something straight out of a superhero movie. One of the most impressive jetpacks today is the JB-12 jetpack, created by Jetpack Aviation. This American company is leading the way in making personal flying devices. The JB-12 is one of their newest and most advanced models. Built entirely in the United States, it shows the strength of modern American engineering. This jetpack uses six powerful mini jet engines that give it amazing speed, balance, and control. The JB-12 wasn't just made for fun. It was built mainly for military and emergency use. It's designed for missions where regular vehicles can't go, like fast deployments, difficult rescues, or scouting areas. The pilot flies the JB-12 using a special system with two joysticks, making it feel natural and easy to control. This allows the user to manage speed, direction, and height smoothly. It's small enough to be carried by hand, stored in tight spaces, and quickly deployed when needed. That's a huge advantage for military teams who need to move fast without heavy equipment. The JB-12 is a serious tool, not just a fancy toy. It could completely change how soldiers or rescue workers move through tough terrain or crowded urban areas. But before this new generation of jetpacks, there was the Bell Rocket Belt, the one that started it all. Built in the 1960s by American engineers, this jetpack used a special fuel, hydrogen peroxide, that created steam and oxygen gas for lift. It could fly for about 20 seconds, reach heights of 30 feet, and travel up to 60 miles per hour. It even made a famous appearance in the James Bond movie Thunderball. While it wasn't practical for long missions and never used in real combat, it proved that humans could fly with a machine strapped to their back. That was a huge step forward. Fast forward to modern times, and we meet Vince Reffitt, a daring pilot from the Jetman Dubai team who did something incredible. Unlike most jet-powered flyers who start from planes or helicopters, Reffitt took off straight from the ground. He and his team built a sleek, lightweight jet wing made of carbon fiber with four small engines. What made this system so special was how the pilot controlled it, by moving his body, not using traditional airplane controls. Reffitt reached nearly 6,000 feet in the air and flew at over 150 miles per hour, showing complete control as he performed elegant moves like a bird. This wasn't just a show, it proved that people could fly safely and precisely with no launch pad, no computer help, just skill and innovation. Although Reffitt sadly died in a later flight, his work opened a new chapter in aviation history. Another exciting development is the Thunderpack TP-R2G2, which pushes jetpack technology even further. It's powerful, fast, and very stable in the air. Designed for both professional and adventurous users, it's an upgraded version of an earlier model, the TP-R1G2. It flies for longer, moves better, and is safer than before. This model shows how far personal flight technology has come and gives us a glimpse of what the future might look like, where people fly through the air like characters from action films. We can't forget the Martin Jetpack, one of the first serious attempts to make jetpacks practical. Invented by Glenn Martin in New Zealand, it used large fans instead of jet turbines. It could fly more than 3,000 feet high and was designed for real-life uses like disaster response and industrial inspections. Even though the company shut down in 2019, the Martin Jetpack showed the world that personal flight wasn't just a dream. It could be useful, safe, and real. Then came the Skyflash Jetpack, an invention that took personal flying to a whole new level. This jetpack wasn't just fast, it looked like something from a sci-fi movie. It could go up to 120 miles per hour and had two strong mini-engines. It wasn't made by a big company but by passionate inventors in a small workshop. The Skyflash was tested in real situations, 
not just in labs. Seeing it fly through the city like a motorcycle in the air was stunning. People started to ask if we'd soon see jetpacks at airports or in daily transportation. One of the most talked about jet suits comes from the UK. Inventor Richard Browning and his company, Gravity Industries, made a suit that looks and feels like Iron Man's. It uses five small jet engines that together produce more than 1,000 horsepower. It can fly over 50 miles per hour and reach nearly 10,000 feet. What's really special is how the pilot controls it, by moving their arms. The suit has already been tested by the UK Royal Marines for boarding ships, and it's not just a concept anymore. Gravity Industries even offers training for people who want to try it themselves. Finally, we reach space. NASA developed a jetpack of its own, not for Earth, but for astronauts. In the 1980s, the Manned Maneuvering Unit, MMU, was created to help astronauts move freely in space. Instead of big engines, it used 24 tiny thrusters powered by nitrogen gas. This allowed astronauts to float and move on their own, far from their spacecraft. One famous moment was in 1984 when Bruce McCandless II floated over 300 feet away from the Space Shuttle Challenger, making history. Even though the MMU was retired for safety reasons, it inspired modern systems used today on the International Space Station. It proved that flying in space without being tied to a ship was possible. These inventions, from the Bell rocket belt to the JB-12 and beyond, show that the idea of flying like a superhero is no longer just fantasy. Engineers and inventors around the world are turning it into a working reality. Whether it's for military missions, rescue operations, or even just adventure, jetpacks are bringing the future of human flight closer every day. Astronauts today, when they go outside their spacecraft, use very advanced and much safer equipment than before. These new systems are based on the earlier MMU, Manned Maneuvering Unit, but they have been improved in many ways. Over time, Engineers have made better designs and added new features that make working in space easier and safer. This shows how early ideas can grow into more powerful and refined technology to help humans explore and work in space more effectively. Recently, Japan surprised the world by launching a new jetpack that amazed engineers from the US and China. A Japanese woman used this jetpack to perform a daring flight near a tall skyscraper. The moment looked like something out of a superhero comic. People were stunned by how advanced the technology was. It raises the question, how did Japan manage to lead in this area ahead of other countries? The person behind this technology is a strong and skilled engineer who designed a powerful propulsion system that is worn on the arm. The view of her flying above the city, leaving trails like fireworks, was not a trick, it was real. People also wonder what kind of power source is behind such an incredible flight. Another amazing invention is the Apollo jetpack made by Jetpack International. This jetpack is mostly used in public shows and live events. It allows a person to fly through the air over stadiums or big crowds, especially during sports events or carnivals. It is powered by hydrogen peroxide. When the liquid breaks down, it creates hot steam that comes out of two nozzles, lifting the user into the air. The flight lasts about 30 seconds which may sound short, but it's enough to leave people amazed. The person using it can go straight up, turn in circles, hover, and perform controlled movements in the air. Even before takeoff, the sound of the machine grabs everyone's attention. It's as loud as a passenger jet. Unlike regular engines that burn fuel, this system creates energy quickly and in a small space. It doesn't need wings or complicated controls, just two nozzles and a pressure system. Performers with this gear have entertained people all over the world, from parades to TV shows and festivals. In the UK, a team at Air Oxo has created a new kind of jetpack called the Daedalus Flight Pack. It gives pilots more control and freedom than ever before. This amazing jetpack is operated with a virtual reality, VR headset instead of buttons or sticks. With just a wave of the arm or a shift in body position, the pilot can turn, rise, or drop. The jetpack feels like it's part of your body. The system uses a mix of fuel sources that allow for quiet, vertical flight. The VR headset doesn't just show flight data, it also creates realistic training environments and even simulates weather. Thanks to this system, 
a pilot can fully control the jetpack while staying safe. Richard Mallet, the British engineer behind it, wanted to go beyond normal flight. He combined human instinct with machine control to create something new. It's not just a machine, it's a new way to fly. In Germany, another breakthrough has happened with a wingsuit that can fly using small engines. This device, created by Austrian stuntman Peter Salzmann and carmaker BMW, lets a person fly like a superhero. Traditional wingsuits only glide down using gravity, but this new one has jet turbines built into the chest. These engines allow the user to fly longer, go faster, and even climb while in the air. Salzmann tested this suit by jumping from a helicopter 10,000 feet above the Austrian Alps. He turned on the engines and did something no one in a wingsuit had done before. He flew up instead of just falling. He flew faster and farther than any wingsuit pilot before. This mix of lightweight materials, small engines, and body control makes the suit truly special. It shows how far human creativity and technology can go. Meanwhile, in Switzerland, Eve Rossi, a former fighter pilot, has created a jet wing that lets a person fly through the sky like a plane. He uses a strong carbon fiber wing and four small jet engines strapped to his back. Unlike normal aircraft, there is no cockpit or landing gear. He controls everything manually, using his body. His first famous flight was over the Alps, where he flew at over 180 miles per hour, turning smoothly between mountains. It was not just a show, it proved that a single human could fly with full control. Rossi later flew over the Grand Canyon and even alongside commercial jets. However, his design has one big limitation. He can't take off from the ground. He has to jump from a plane first. In the US, Jetpack International has developed the H202 rocket belt. It performs amazing tricks above crowds, especially during events and halftime shows. This jetpack works using hydrogen peroxide, which breaks down to release hot gas. The pilot can take off vertically, flip, and fly over rooftops or stadiums, all in just 30 seconds. It's loud and exciting, perfect for entertainment. Troy Widgery, who owns Go Fast Sports, helped promote the jetpack all over the world. Although it's not useful for travel, it's a great way to show how far jetpack technology has come. Another exciting invention is the Maverick jetpack. What makes this one special is that it can fly on its own, without the pilot having to control it manually. The pilot only needs to shift their body weight to steer. It's like flying in a spy movie. The company behind this device focused on making it simple to use, safe, and accessible. The design is very light, and the controls are easy to learn. This jetpack could be used for many purposes like rescue missions or even military use. It gives us a glimpse of how jetpacks might one day become part of daily life, just like how planes once seemed like a dream. Finally, there's the flyboard air, created by French inventor Frankie Zapata. He used to be a jet ski racer and turned his love of speed into a flying device. Unlike other jetpacks that are worn on the back, this one is strapped to the feet. It uses five small engines and can fly up to 146 miles per hour. What makes it so special is that it doesn't need water hoses or extra equipment. It flies completely on its own. In 2019, Zapata made history by flying across the English Channel. He is now working with the military to develop more versions of the flyboard air. The controls are very sensitive. Riders steer by leaning in different directions, making it feel like surfing through the air. These new flying machines show us how fast personal flight technology is changing. What used to be science fiction is now becoming real. From jetpacks to wingsuits to hoverboards, humans are finding new ways to fly, and each step takes us closer to a future where the sky really is the limit.